Alright, so this is uh, this is my dad's Bronco. It's a 76 uh, Bronco. And uh, it it's pretty rusty, obviously. Most Broncos are pretty rusty by this time. A lot of times they were actually used and uh, not overly well cleaned. So this is what you get, kind of. So uh, anyway, it had two um, pretty rough floor patches here just to kind of make it drivable and enjoyable. So... Uh, he's ripped those out, got the seats out, so they're sitting way over there. They're they're pretty pretty sorry looking, but the frames and everything I'm sure are probably decent enough. Radiators out. Um, this one uh, didn't have a, a back seat in it or hasn't had one in, in quite some time. So, um, but anyway, it, I mean it's it's got a fair amount of rust here. Um, would be uh, really something to to fix it all up so I think as of right now the plan is to be is to get in uh, aftermarket I believe they're steel tubs uh, aftermarket steel tub so uh, anyway here's the 302 um, nothing special really uh, just has a holly uh, carb put on it but uh, looks like got the radiator out uh, looks like the fans out batteries out um, I don't know what else has been done here, but not a whole heck of a lot. So Anyway, I think the goal is to get uh, The body off of this frame because this is the frame he wants to keep and get you know um, Well, we'll call it restored, but at least uh, repaired so that uh, it can take on that coyote so it uh, looks like what taillights have been pulled and also uh, the bumper was removed really quick. So um, yeah, it leaks terribly uh, from multiple locations. So it was a, kind of a fun gravel rider, but um, it's going to have a new life now. So that's cool. So anyway, you can see these pillars are pretty well trashed. But anyway, I don't know what uh, where this roll cage came from or, or what the history is on that, but uh, <laughs> kind of ugly. <laughs> but anyway, we'll see. There'll be more progress here shortly, I'm sure. All right, well, the old coyote is uh, in its for now resting place up there on a pallet motor trains and transfer case steering column and a bunch of other parts up there so it'll sit there for a minute until until the bronco is ready for uh, for its new heart Okay, so got the finishing touches on a uh, frame restoration. <laughs> Rust-free new frame subframe connectors here. But no, it's just 4x4s four cut up and kind of perched up up against the bottom of the wheel arches and the floor and the, this back section right here. So I'm uh, going to try and lift the cab out without it crumbling to pieces. So... Um, anyway, did some reinforcements and took most of the stuff out of it. So hopefully it's light enough and strong enough to get off of there.
Okay, so it worked here. We got this little structure rigged up and uh, kind of holding on what reasonably strong portions are left on this cab. And so, uh, anyway, got it lifted up and we're gonna get it either set on dollies or another frame, not really sure, but this is good for now. So, on to the next part. Well, here's what's left over. The uh, had a few little pieces that were put on to make it run reasonably well for the last year or two or however long it's been. And, but it is pretty greasy because it has it leaks from several spots. So anyway, the 302 will be retired, and the rest of it looks pretty decent. I guess it's all covered in mud, but um, there's some crunchy spots. But most of it had to do with the body that was on it so now that that's been removed it's kind of decent so anyway we'll uh, start getting this motor out and getting things torn down without the engine out you can get kind of a better view of what's left behind which is not much the um, new body will get a new wiring harness so the electrics can stay behind but other than that it's pretty much gutted nothing too too spectacular but it takes a lot to get them get them emptied out so you can see kind of the the cancer in the floor which was pretty severe but also the hinges or the uh, where the hinge is mounted Got the lift kit on the Bronco, looking good. Now this is uh, just so I can roll around the shop and into storage and whatever, so got that sorted. All right, so the 302 is ready to be pulled out. Um, mounts, trans mounts on the cross member and then uh, pretty much ready to pull out. So we're gonna rig up a deal so we can lift it quick and uh, get it out of here. Okay, so we got the uh, 302 out on the pallet here and then the one piece that we're planning on using at least right now is the transfer case so we're actually going to get that unbolted real quick and uh, put the rest of it away. So we got the transfer case off, um, just ran off a couple bolts and then the shifter mounts right here. So um, everything looks somewhat decent, obviously covered in oil and grease, but looks okay. Okay, this uh, transfer case is off, and the rest of this we won't probably use. The frame will need to be power washed, blasted, stripped of all the other perches and things that aren't going to be used. Um, brake lines, fuel lines, all that stuff will be new, but um, that's for another day. But at least, at least we got a few pieces off and stored away. Thanks for watching.